Welcome to Chronic Breach. Uh, before we go on, no, I need you to, what is it? Like and subscribe and share and tweaky this video to help them get the message out about chronic illness and disability. Okay, as you can see, I'm not the regular host of the show. In fact, I'm Father Time. Yes, yes, it's really me. And no, you can't take a selfie with me, damn millennials. Also, I don't like to go by Father Time. Father Time is my dad. I'm cool. Just call me Mr. All Space and Time. Yeah, now, I know you think I'm responsible for everything bad in your lives. You went bald? Oh, it's Father Time's fault. Your kids grew up and hate you? Oh, damn that Father Time. You can't dump the ball anymore? Father Time's fault again. Of course. Well, you know what I have to say to that? Haters gonna hate. Still, though, I'm here just chilling to the end of time, which may be soon. Or maybe not. Who knows? Well, I know. But who's counting? Well, me. I'm, again, I'm counting. But whatever. All I'm saying is I wouldn't take out any 30-year um, mortgages if I was you. Now, I'm here today because your usual host thinks he somehow escaped my view. Cheated me because he had a chronic illness and thought that since his body was already old when he was a teenager, he wouldn't feel the effects of aging. <laughs> well, you know I wasn't going to let anybody front on this daddy, so here I am to ruin his day or his year, or forever, whichever comes first. In fact, I take a speck of interest in anyone with chronic illness and disability because they are the easiest people to steal time from. It's like taking a sundial from a baby. <laughs> Chronically ill and disabled people take forever to do anything, and that makes my job as easy as Easy as, well, hell, I'll tell you, if everybody was chronically ill and disabled, I'd have much more time on my hands to follow my true passion, DJing EDM music. Yeah, my DJ name is DJ BSC. Big swinging clock, get it? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn this back over to your usual host, the walking dad joke himself, okay? And I'll see you all real soon. Or maybe I won't. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. We are contractually obligated to give him airtime when he wants it. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Anyway, I guess we had a visit from Father Time. Wonderful. Yeah, we love Father Time around here. Or as he likes to be called, Mr. All Space and Time, because he's so generous and forgiving. Not really, though. He's actually a real SOB, especially when... And he just absolutely loves to screw people who are chronically ill and disabled. Time is already a limited commodity, even for those who are healthy. But for anyone who has rheumatoid arthritis, or lupus, or cancer, or EDS, or any number of other chronic illnesses and disabilities, that fool father time has taken it to the next level. Yeah, he really kicks us right in the clock hole, if you know what I mean. How? Let me count the ways. First, there's the fact that everything takes much longer when you are chronically ill and disabled. Now, when I say longer, I don't mean an extra five or ten minutes putting on your makeup or finding a shirt that doesn't make you look like you ate a rhinoceros for dinner the night before. No, I mean it can take days for something that a healthy individual might do without even thinking. It starts at the planning phase. Yes, even something as simple as getting up and going to the supermarket requires me to plan the entire day around it. Don't believe me? Well, here's an example of the planning for that day. First, I have to make sure I have someone around to help me if need be. So that means nailing down a sibling or a friend to take a chunk out of their day. Do you know what it's like to ask a friend from your fantasy football league if he'd like to help you go grocery shopping? Yeah, it's a real party. Most of the time I get a response like, uh, me? Dude, I'm not gay. Oh, really? I had no idea. Thanks for telling me that, you caveman. I need help with my packages, not my package. Yeah, it's about as awful as it sounds. Anyway, once you got that nailed down, then you have to make sure you got enough cash on hand from the measly amount of money that the government allows you to make before they take away everything. And if it's not the right week, well, then you have to wait. Finally, you have to make sure to take your meds an hour before you go so that you don't end up in pain and without pills in the middle of the trip. And all of that takes time. 
once you've got the trip planned and it actually happens, it certainly won't be a run in and grab a few things trip. In fact, the run part of that previous sentence pretty much precludes me from ever participating in that specific type of errand. In other words, I'm not quickly popping in to grab anything anywhere. In fact, if I did try to quickly pop in anywhere, I'd end up popping something else out slowly. So, as you can see, things take time to plan, execute, and accomplish. As bad as that is, that's not the only way Big Daddy Time steals from those of us who are chronically ill and disabled. He has a certain F word that goes along with dealing with illness that almost everyone who suffers from anything like lupus, MS, RA, cancer, EDS, whatever, an F word that they are all extremely well acquainted with. Now, it's not the four letter one you're thinking of, but that four letter one does get used generously enough to qualify me for permanent verbal crime against humanity status. But no, the word I'm talking about is fatigue. Now, we won't go into too much detail because there's other videos that cover fatigue extensively already. But suffice it to say that when you have little to no energy, it takes three times as long to do anything. Cleaning your room, cooking dinner, writing and filming this video. It takes so much longer when you have to fight fatigue. There are times I am literally falling asleep at the keyboard and I have to stop to take a nap like a grandpa who just got finished with his afternoon bourbon. In addition to the physical though, fatigue also saps motivation. So not only do I have to do my work, but I also have to dig up a reason to want to do my work. Do you know how much of a waste of time it is to have to find a reason to get up and to work so that you can fall asleep and take a nap? That's like speeding up to wait at a red light, but nobody ever does that. Anyway, the point is, when you're chronically ill and disabled, fatigue and other physical and mental traits of your disease result in every single task taking longer than it would for someone healthy. I mean, you should see when I have to cut my toenails. I have to block off an entire week, get a nail clipper glued to a stick, an upside down periscope, and two rolls of duct tape. Yeah, I wish I was kidding. As you can imagine, all that takes time, time that healthy people take for granted. There's one other way that that SOB, Father Time, takes disproportionately from those of us who are chronically ill and disabled. You see, when you have an autoimmune illness or cancer or a nerve condition, all of these diseases obviously require medication, right? And as we've discussed in other videos, medication for illnesses like ours are unique. They aren't guaranteed to work and they aren't guaranteed to alleviate all our symptoms, even when they do work. Yes. Chronic illness is one of the only diseases where the medications available provide half measures at best and we're supposed to swoon like a teenager at a One Direction concert. That's, that's still a thing, right? Okay. The thing is, these medications that we're supposed to bow down and be thankful for that someone decided to do something at all for us are, at best, untested in long-term study and at worst cause cancer. Yeah, even ones for cancer may cause cancer. Think about that. Well, Mr. Melito, we think we can cure your cancer, but uh, keep in mind the medication also has a side effect of uh, cancer. I, I have cancer, and what you're giving me causes cancer. What, are you hoping to cancel each other out like Godzilla and King Kong? Most of the medication we take are probably taking years off the ends of our lives, quite literally stealing time from our lives. I'm told that's father time. He's a real bastard. It's a trade-off, like almost everything else with disability and chronic illness. He is taking maybe time at the end of our lives for probably better days now, and we happily give it, like a celebrity's money to Scientology. Oof, the Lord Zeno isn't going to like that one. Anyway, as you can see, father time and people with chronic illness have a love-hate relationship mostly hate, because when we are lucky, we may get half as many productive hours as our healthy counterparts. And that SOB, Big Daddy Time, is laughing all the way to the time bank. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Chronic Briefs. If you liked the video, if you laughed, if you snorted, if you lost time, please give us a like, a share, a subscribe, and help us get our message out. In the end, in the meantime, as always, be kind, rewind, keep on keeping on, and we'll talk soon. If you want to hear some of the slappinest beats ever put down on a track, then buy my latest album, DJ Big Swingin' Clock Plays Ibiza.